Hello friends. Today we are going to learn how to monitor Kubernetes and Docker environment with Weavescope. Let's us getting started. Weavescope is a visualization and monitoring tool for Docker and Kubernetes. For microservices-based architecture, Weavescope would be useful in visualizing network bottlenecks, troubleshooting CPU consumption and troubleshooting memory leaks. It provides a top-down view into your app as well as your entire infrastructure, and allows you to diagnose any problems with your distributed containerized app in real time, as it being deployed to a cloud provider. Key features, number one. Drill down views. For an app which is running in Kubernetes, Scope displays pods, replica sets, deployments, and related services on clusters, so for containerized microservices running in the cloud, you can view processes, containers, orchestrators, and hosts. Key features, number two. Real-time contextual metrics. By clicking on a node you can get detailed panel with additional metrics on the node, from the detailed panel, you can drill down on processes inside your container to the hosts that your containers run on. Key features, number three. Troubleshoot, manage containers, on clicking of a container, pod or host, you can view the controls pane from there you can pause, restart, stop and delete without having to leave the scope browser window, if further troubleshooting is required, terminal windows can be launched from any container or host so that you can interact with your app and run any Unix command to diagnose issues. Key features, number four. Search, Weave supports simple operands so that for example, you can find processes consuming a certain amount memory or nodes using too much CPU. Key features, number five. Filtering options. Nodes can be filtered by CPU and memory usage so that you can easily find containers using the most resources. If you are running an app in Kubernetes then your app can be filtered by namespace and by container state whether running or stopped or contained and uncontained. Key features, number 6. Graphic, table mode, views can be presented in graphic as well as table mode, graphical mode is more useful in cases where you want to have a quick visual overview of your app, table mode is for viewing data like resources being consumed by processes, containers, and hosts etc. Let's us see how to use Weave scope on Docker and Kubernetes later on. Now, let's start with Docker. Go to the link shown to access Docker Playground, for the sake of this tutorial we will use this one. We install Weave Scope on Docker Engine as shown here. Run the second command to make the script executable. Now launch Weave Scope on Docker by running the following command. You can now access Weave Scope application through port 4040. But we have a container for demonstration, it is React.js application running at port 80, you can have any Docker application that you want to monitor but for our sake we demo this app. It is CRUD React.js Todo app. Now 
now run WeaveScope on port 4040 to monitor this Docker application. As you can see now we can see our application running and can be monitored from WeaveScope, let us go and see it in details. You can do all Docker operations and run commands from WeaveScope. Access all WeaveScope easy as shown here. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. CPU and memory monitoring easy from WeaveScope dashboard. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Now let's us install WeaveScope on Kubernetes, we will demonstrate it using Catacoda but you can do it easy on your cluster by deploying it as deployment file. With Catacoda you can follow it easy the tutorial on how to install WeaveScope. Link on description to learn how to do it. Now let us see how to use WeaveScope on Kubernetes cluster. You can monitor all Kubernetes components from pods, host, services and services from WeaveScope dashboard. You can use this tool to monitor your microservice applications. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. You can still access Kubernetes commands within WeaveScope, for example, describe command from WeaveScope can be accessed here. Table mode is for viewing data like resources being consumed by processors, containers, and hosts etc. You can view services deployed on Kubernetes here also. I hope you have learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more videos links on description don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Happy learning.